What's up, Backpack Virgin gang? Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. So whenever you address information or maybe something that you got wrong or maybe something that didn't go the way that you planned, there's a couple different ways you can do or address this topic to actually get it out there. The first thing you can do is just flat out ignore it. You can just be like, oh, well, I'm just going to sit here and you know stick a thumb somewhere and eventually it'll go away, right? And most people do that. It typically does work. Some people, you know, don't drop stuff, but after a while, it just kind of goes away. The second thing you can do is you can address it head on and be like, hey, for example, Tyranitar did only hollows, did not cut in line. They did not get thrown out of anywhere. It was actually Pokey Trainer Jess and Ageless Cards. I am a very sorry for the misinformation that's floating around. Kind of should have probably sat on that a little bit longer. That's my fault. I do apologize. Everybody who said something to them, go apologize. This is confirmed by multiple different people that it was. Pokey Trainer Jess and Ageless Cards. And I'm very sorry for the misinformation for that stuff. See, problem solved, right? I already talked to parties about it. All good. Nobody wanted the video down. The third thing you can do, which is something that I think is uh, is something a little goofier, is you can just kind of triple down on things. You can kind of just go like, okay, I'm going to stick with this topic right here, and I'm going to stick with my stance on it, even though I know it's fucking wrong, even though I know it's just something that I'm wrong about. And our boy Seismic Shock TV, a.k.a. Dollar Store Pokey Rev, just, it's always something with this guy, and I'm going to rip into him a little bit, not for everything that happened. If you don't know, he opened a $200 tin, it was a Charizard EX tin from 2014-2016 era, it was the XY era for that stuff, and here's how that went, I'm just going to show you how that basically played out for him. So big shouts to them, but I also forgot to mention, if we don't pull an alt art in today's video we are gonna crack open none other than a charizard ex10 from 2014 and yes it has packs like plasma blast it has uh what is it furious fist and i believe it also has flash fire yeah spoiler alert he didn't pull an alt art and he actually ended up having to open the tin he said he didn't want to have to do it he did a good bit of research apparently on the packs that are supposed to be in it for you know that year that it came out and here's how that played out enjoy i did not want to open this it is the 2014 Charizard EX10. This sticker right here tells me that the packs that I mentioned earlier actually has what we're looking for here. So uh, let's do it, boys. Ripping the seal. Oh my gosh. I have literally never gotten a chance to open up this tin ever. So, oh my gosh, it's just like deteriorating. Just, 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 that's it. Oof, this is such a good looking tin. I'm really hoping the right packs are in here. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh gosh, the the right packs might not be in here. This is going to be very unfortunate. This no, it's not. I mean, Evolutions is good, but it's not supposed to have Evolutions. There's your code card. Oh gosh, this is there's there's the promo card for those of y'all that were wondering. I'm going to leave it in there. <laughs> oh gosh, this this might not be good, guys. I'm okay, fingers crossed. Please, please. Please, please, please. It has to have flash fire in here. Evolutions. Evolutions. Okay, it's not bad. It's not terrible. Fates collide. Please. I'm hoping we didn't get scammed. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is off of Amazon, y'all. No. Oh, my gosh. Yo, I'm su I'm always a very positive person, especially with like just Pokemon cards, right? Right. But like, I mean, like, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, you know, <sighs> Evolutions. Yeah, Evolutions came out in 2016. All right, hold on, I gotta look this up. Steam Siege 2016, Evolutions 2016, and then Fates Collide 2016, dude. 2014 Power EX Power Trio 10. This was 2014. These these tins go for upwards of like 140 to 175 dollars a tin is what I'm looking at right now. Yo, I haven't been scammed in a while. That's crazy. So this right here is going to begin the actual arc of Seismic Shock TV getting scammed by a tin right here. This is going to begin it. This is the whole story moving forward past this. So right here, he's saying he didn't get the packs that he was supposed to get. One was a flash fire for sure. Furious Fist and a couple other packs are supposed to be in here. A little bit older, a little bit more value, bigger cards you can pull from that stuff from the XY era, a little bit more of the big money ones, right? Instead, he ends up getting Evolutions, 
Steam Siege and Fates Collide, you know, still XY, but definitely not the heavy hitter kind of stuff. Some people like Evolutions, but I'm not in that part right there. So, spoiler alert, he actually didn't get scammed. He does address this in a little bit, and I'm going to throw this out there real quick. I don't really have a problem that he didn't know that this tin wasn't like that, that he didn't know that they did multiple print runs of this tin. I'm not expecting everybody to know everything. However, he knows more than he lets on, and I'm going to get to that later, but we're we're going to push forward with that stuff. He eventually puts out a, a real talk about this where he's addressing, oh man, uh, Pokemon's messing up on all these tins and things like that, which, I mean, there is a couple things in there that I agree with him with, but for the overall message of it and him saying that he got scammed and eventually taking it to where Pokemon fucking scammy, that's where I'm like, Ooh, I don't know about that. Maybe, uh bring that back in a little bit maybe maybe reel that back in pokemon sued for less i don't want you getting sued for slander big dog i know i'm big old mean opossum but god damn don't don't be saying that stuff especially when it's not true let's get into his real talk real quick let's see what he says about that all right so i've been meaning to make a video about this for a while now and um it's you know i guess what kind of pushed me to make it sooner than later um is it's it's i saw a post on twitter and honestly guys like I don't think this is something that people really talk about often enough, so much so that in today's episode, I'm hoping that we can actually, as a community, share this video to hopefully get some traction so that Pokemon Company can see and potentially fix this massive, massive issue that's going on in the uh, Pokemon TCG. So... All right, lay it on me, big dog. What's the big, massive issue Pokemon TCG is laying upon you? What's the big issue right here? What's the big thing? How would you get scammed, my guy? I'm here. I'm taking notes. I'm drinking energy drinks. I'm ready, bro. Fucking lay it on me. Uh, for those of y'all that don't know, recently I opened up a Charizard EX-10. Let me uh, let this focus. It's actually a beautiful 10. Let me let the, oh yeah, that is, that is nice. That is a nice 10. Um, and what's uh, nice about this 10 is the reason why I wanted to open it is because it was a 10 that, as it says here, 2014 Pokemon, right? It says it on the 10 itself. Um, the expectation in this 10, and if you go through YouTube videos that you, uh, you can go through Google, I mean, you can go through a ton of areas. There are supposed to be packs in here that are from 2014, some in like, I think, uh, probably 2015. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But what should have been here was two packs of Furious Fist, um, Flash Fire, and one pack of Plasma Blast, uh, the black and white era. I want you to remember this when we're going forward right here. He did enough research to apparently know what packs were supposed to be in here and what type of value he should have been getting from this tin. He thought he got a deal. I want you to remember this for what he says later, where apparently like research is going to come up and just the whole research of stuff is apparently an issue. I want you to remember that, that he did enough research to apparently know what packs were supposed to be in here, okay? Just just remember that. And once again, I ain't mad that he didn't know that the, the packs in the, the tin was different, that there was multiple print runs of it. That's not what I'm mad about. I'll get to that later. Long story short, there wasn't those packs in there. However, uh, you know, in the video I made, you know, uh, I mean, I was so unaware and I was so like in awe when I was recording the video. I didn't know how to almost like register, like what just happened? Because in my head, I had this whole thing planned out and it, it didn't work the way it planned. And I wasn't going to change the video because I'm not some massive YouTube channel where I can just trash content. Like I was going to make the video regardless, but you can change the thumbnail. So where it doesn't say scam. I mean, that's, that's a hundred percent possible too. You could do that. It doesn't trash the video. If you change the thumbnail, YouTube makes recommendations. If your video is not fucking performing correctly, I do think you know that. And for you to leave it up still as of me recording right now, it still says scam right there he got scammed i mean you can change that right um essentially what we got in here is uh you know i left the packs in here as well we got uh two packs of evolutions and what else was it two packs of evolutions and fates collide and yeah steam siege so y'all can hopefully let me let me get this to focus real quick this is a, this is definitely a different type of, type of episode here there's evolutions and then there's fates collide and Steam seeds to say the least. Uh, yeah. So I was pretty upset, um, in the moment. However, when I was, you know, I said in the video that I was going to go look back and check on that and make sure that, you know, everything was right. I didn't get scammed or anything. When I went back to go look, this tin does sell for upwards of $200. However, when I really thoroughly looked, 
there is a 2014 version, a 2016 version, and apparently there's a 2018 version. And some people were even saying there's a 2020 uh, version. And I, in my head, I was like, okay, like, let's just take a step back for a second. I, I, I'm somewhat educated in the Pokemon world tcg world he's somewhat educated in the pokemon tcg world we can all you know throw that out there right he's stating that himself i'm not saying he knows everything i'm not saying he knows fucking everything in the entire world but keep this in mind he is now aware that there is a 2014 a 16 and 18 and now he is aware that this particular tin has multiple print runs this is going to come into play later i promise I, i'm telling you not just yanking your dick i've got somewhere i'm going with this um you know i i i hate when people like flex their tenure and how much they know about pokemon as if like that like the status like matters it matters for when you're talking about things that matter to be educated on but it doesn't like you're no better than somebody because you have been in the the pokemon hobby for so long no you're not any better than anybody but you definitely know more if you've been around a little bit longer and that's something that you can educate people with your youtube platform for sure something that you failed to do here with your video and something that's still happening with this video especially with you talking right here you're not educating anybody with this point blank period you think you are you think you're educating people on this stuff but you're not instead you're just kind of trying to rally an army and try to get people to go message Pokemon about how this isn't represented correctly. We didn't used to have to flex how long we used to be here and like how much we used to know until people started popping up and started just dropping information bombs and started selling stuff super weird and started doing sketchy stuff with sales and not being truthful about stuff. Not saying Seismic Shock is doing it because he didn't sell this tin, but people have done it before and people didn't used to have to. Now you kind of have to be like, hey, I've been here a minute. Here's my proof that I've been here a little bit. You can actually listen to what I'm saying because misinformation kind of like this floating around over here gets around and people end up getting scammed like this. Anyways, my point there is that I shouldn't have to do that thorough of research on a tin that I want to open up when it looks like this. It's advertised as 2014. Like it should show that it as 2014 and that should be it. And then the next one after that should say as simple as 2016 2018 or whatever the flipping year is that that 10 came out so that i know that when i make that purchase i know what it is so one thing i will kind of agree with on seismic is they definitely could at least update the year i suppose that would make it a little bit easier they do kind of do that but it's not super obvious to people if you don't know i will show you later what i mean there is a way that you can kind of tell for some things but it's not 100 percent unfair to ask them to maybe fix the label that's kind of what i will get at here in a second i do agree with them with that especially for newer people maybe the label could say 2016 2018 or something like that they do put on the tin now the reason they reuse this tin and the actual card and they cycle packs through is for two different reasons one they want to make sure people can actually get the product you know the product right not the packs but the actual tin that he's holding the charizard and the tin right there that's a product some people actually want that tin some people actually want that charizard now the reason they don't just put the same old packs in there over and over and over again is because as the tcg moves forward playable cards and playable sets and standard also change and they need to accommodate not only to collectors and investors but to players as well they need to keep modern packs in there so that's why you see with the 2016 reprint there's 2016 packs in there i'm not i don't think he has a problem with the fact there's 2016 packs in there he's just confused on why he bought this actual box right here and it didn't have the packs he expected and that's why it's the product they're cycling the product back through but the packs are always going to be cycling in the tcg that's what it is I, and you know when i went back to go look at when i bought this i think i mentioned i possibly got it from amazon or ebay i looked and it was ebay and i thoroughly looked and you know it, there was no knock on the seller it said 2016 and i i just was so unaware that i didn't realize like all you look for when you're doing research is this tin right you gotta be fucking kidding me the actual ebay seller did all the research for you put it out there put the year that it came out put all that stuff together and like you didn't go any step beyond that you just looked at the tin and you were like huh that certainly doesn't happen with anything else. And I know you do that with other tins and other things in the future. Once again, I'll get to where he does research later for stuff and he's kind of picking and choosing things in the future. I'll get to that here in a second, okay? But right here, like the, the seller did all the research for you and you're still like confused about that stuff you weren't looking at. That's your fault, okay? 110%, that's your fault. You had an actual, honest, truthful seller, which is not super common with stuff like this. Someone could have easily been like, oh yeah, it's the 2014 fucking print, my guy. Plasma blast and fucking furious fist right up your ass are in here. Like they could have done that. Super easy. And they didn't. They actually hooked you up. That's 
that's some goofy shit that you didn't do enough research for that. And I'll, I'll, oh my God, we'll, we'll keep going. And I was like, oh, I want to open up something that's kind of cool, a little bit older, something that could have some potential, like, and I wouldn't say vintage packs, but just older packs, stuff that I can actually afford too. And I was like, oh, this tin has this. You know, I think I saw like primetime Pokemon open up the tin. And I was like, cool. Then I saw Unlisted Leaf. I was like, cool. So there's some, there's, I think I watched two or three videos where it showed those uh, packs that were in there. And then when I got it, <laughs> Evolutions. And then some people were like, oh, go check this video out of Unlisted Leaf. And it was like, I don't know, seven years ago. And it showed you know, Evolutions in it. And I was like, yeah, that's not also what happened. His comment section really let him have it too. His comment section was going like, hey, yo, fool, this is not a scam. You have a reprint tin. You have one from 2016. The general public and the community knew what was going on with this tin before he did. And I want the, the knowledge gap right there to be abundantly clear. No, I'm not knocking him for the fact that he doesn't know specific things. But someone here is the actual YouTube page with 22,000 subs that wants to emulate other big PokeTubers but doesn't really know the same amount of stuff. And this is kind of a reality check for the homie right here that he doesn't know or think he knows as much about Pokemon and the actual cards and what gets distributed as much as he thinks he does. This is a nice little reality check for him. His comment section went in there and ripped his balls right off and was like, hey, fool, you're being kind of dumb. And he doesn't really mention that at all in this video. I kind of think that's a little funny. Like, people were telling you to go check out a video, but people were also straight I'm telling you like yo man you got this wrong this is a reprint tin dude well, that's so annoying like why should i have to as somebody in the hobby go really analyze like oh it has the exact same promo card exact same tin exact same information on the back of the tin but there's different packs and you just you just have to know what year it was made even though there's nothing on here that st states that this is the year that it was made Oh, there's nothing on it that states what year it was made. Oh, that's real funny. Like doing any ounce of research or, you know, putting stuff out there, you know, God forbid the 22,000 subscriber page do a little bit of research about a product they open. I mean, it's not like PokeRev opened this shit and didn't know exactly what it was. Oh, wait, he did know exactly what this was and even specifically stated. Ooh, you see it? It's the Blastoise. We have a 2014 Power Trio tin featuring Blastoise. So the Power Trio could be either Blastoise, Charizard, or Venusaur. We got the Blastoise one. Um, but here's the thing. Okay, see how it says 2014 down there? This is actually a really big risk because they reused these tins. They had a ton of them laying around empty, and they reused them like a couple years later. I want to say maybe 2016. So this is the thing, right? There could be older packs in here. Or there could be still old packs, but not as old as the original one. So this was a complete gamble for $200 tin. Uh, either way, there should be old stuff in here. So we do have to start it off here a Blastoise EX beautiful card as well as a code card. Ooh, but is that what I think it is? Uh, it has to be. Yes, we have an Evolution Booster Pack. So that's really good, but I think we might actually have the 2016 version of this. Uh, because Evolutions came out in 2016, so they wouldn't have been in here if it was 2014. Uh, we also do have another Evolutions pack, so these two are really nice. Moving on, we do have a Fates Collide, which isn't too bad. It's a pretty solid one. Oh, but then we do have the Steve Siege. Oh, no, I think we got a 2016 tin. So definitely that's one thing to look out for, guys. If you do end up picking up one of these, just be careful. Even though it says 2014 on the Power Trio tins, you might get a 2016 tin, which you might even be more likely to get a 2016 tin. I don't really know. All right, I'm, be I'm behind the camera real quick. I'm going to show you something. So check this out. I have the exact same tin right here. This is something that we got, I think, in 2017 or 18. It's one of those years, right? Now, this tin right here is the exact same one. It's labeled the exact same way and all that stuff. And if you look right here, like where it actually says it, let me see if I can get to focus. It does indeed say 2014 Pokemon, you know, 1995, 2014. However, if you look all the way at that bottom line, right down there, right at the bottom, where it says K16, See, 16 right there. You see where it says that right there? Let me see if I can get to focus. Let me kind of get focus. Bring it back a little bit. K16 right there. Right at the very end. Made in China, K16. That is when it's made. This is a 2016 model of the tin right there. That's something that you're supposed to be looking for when you're ever checking that stuff out. Now, people are going to tell me that maybe, oh, maybe he didn't know about this stuff, right? Maybe he didn't know. Nah, 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 nah. We'll get to that here in a second. I, to me, it's like Pokemon is either one, super lazy, or two, they literally are trying to scam us as 
people in the hobby. Like, and I will go that far to say that. And yeah, there's a little emotion involved to it. Cause you know, I feel like I got kind of screwed over super lazy. Oh yeah. They're, they're dumb lazy. I mean, we've already established that the label, I think definitely could stand like a couple words being changed on it or something like that. Maybe the year actually being, I'll, I'll give you that scamming. Absolutely not. You bought this second hand, my guy, you bought this from an eBay seller who properly researched and labeled this for you. Pokemon didn't scam you for anything. In fact, these tins, Guarantee cost the exact same amount, the 2014, the 2016, the 2018. I guarantee they all cost the exact same amount, probably like 20, 25 bucks. You know, to keep up with the moving packs and what's actually projected for value. See, as tins do get older, yes, the packs do get sought after a little bit more, and people do tend to want those tins a little bit more. I will agree with you on that, but when Pokemon themselves are selling them, that if the price themselves didn't change, that like if okay, if you were missing like packs, if it was like two packs in there and they were consistently putting two packs all across like a four pack tin, sure, man, scammed all day. They fucked you right up the ass. They got you good. But until they do that, the packs are changing to stay with the current TCG standard. That's what's going on with that. Um, but it really is something that Pokemon needs to fix. That's a, such a huge miss. Like it's such a misleading thing. And like it, to me, as a big as a company as Pokemon is, like it's such a small detail that can literally make somebody spend a hundred dollars more, a couple thousand dollars more. You know, it's real funny that people like to separate the secondhand market and the Pokemon market, like whenever it's fucking convenient for them. But then of course, when something happens like this, where it's like a label thing, where it clearly is labeled, it's not super obvious, but people who are experts in the field and seismic shock should know about this too. I'll get to that here in a little bit as well. He should know about that actual K16 code on there. That's something that he has identified before. I'll get to it. Like, you literally like tr blaming Pokemon for a secondhand market sale is your fault, my guy. No one made you buy this tin for fucking $200. That's the seller's fault for mislabeling it. Say it was a 2018 and it had team up packs and it's worth like fucking $75, but they sold it for a $200 because it was labeled 2014. Kind of your fault for not verifying that stuff, my guy, for not doing research. That's how it goes. Pokemon's not responsible for your secondhand purchases. You don't get mad at somebody when they sell you a shitty PSA 10 Pokemon card? Oh, you're not going to do that? Yeah, yeah, of course not, my guy. Of course you're not going to do that. Like, this 10 apparently will sell for, like, 130 right? If you bought the one that was in 2016. The other one that's, like, a little earlier, like, or later, like, 2018. I mean, yeah, 2018 will sell for, I think it's, like, a hundred to like 75 to a hundred bucks, depending on where you get it from. It's crazy. The price difference, right? The, the original one will sell for like 200, potentially even 220. Yeah. It's almost like there's different packs in it and there's different things on there where people can identify how much they're selling it for. Hmm. But how, how are you supposed to know that? Right? Even if you were in the hobby in that time, you still can't identify. I mean, even you, what are you going to look like? Yep. You're, like, you're like, yep. The shrink wrap mm -hmm, smells good. I'm buying it off of eBay. How, how are you supposed to check that, right? And eBay in itself is already kind of sketchy. So, I mean, it, it's funny what he's doing right now. I get it. Haha, ha, smell the shrink wrap. Whoa, that smells like 2014. Am I right, baby? That smells like fucking 2014. Hell yeah. What songs were popular back then? Chain Smokers or something like that? Hell yeah. That's that's what it fucking smells like. K16. It's on the 10. I mean, you, you've looked at it on other things. I'll blast you for that here in a second. Don't worry about that. You know, with the person that sold this to me, I didn't I didn't even say anything to them, right? Like they sold it the way they were supposed to sell it. They titled it properly. Nothing uh, was wrong on their end. It was me just not thoroughly doing research, which again, I think is super unnecessary to have to find something that reality is, is modern, right? It's not vintage, right? And it's not thousands of dollars. Like if it's thousands of dollars, yes, I'll do thorough research. It's a couple hundred bucks. Like I'm not... I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, I need to put like a huge file on this and make sure I, you know, I, I uh, appeal. Well, because you didn't go that route and actually do some research and check on some stuff for $200, you kind of look stupid online. You kind of look real dumb because you got freaking emasculated by your comment section and people are actively telling you that you were wrong for not doing research. That's what happens when you don't check stuff, dude. Whenever you don't actually look at the product you're fucking opening, this is the stuff that happens right here. Right here, this is what happens. And then me, I got to come in here with a dustpan and broom, a Japanese collector, and teach the English collectors how to properly look at their stuff. Whoa. The reason why I felt the need to make this video now is because literally on Twitter, right before um, I was even considering this, I think, 
it, it popped up on my newsfeed um, or on, on my Twitter account. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll put their information down in the description below. Anytime I talk about somebody, I feel like it's necessary to put their stuff in the description because, you know, I wouldn't have content without it. Uh, but I guess their their tag name is at the origin club, I think is what it is. And it says here, and I'll put the picture on the uh, screen right now and the, or the tweet, it goes, Hey, Pokemon, Pokemon company, they tag Pokemon, which is totally, totally relevant uh, and necessary. If you're going to release or re-release an old product, change the info on the back. Y'all put vivid voltage and darkness of blaze packs in these, but the back still uh, specific uh, was it? specifies sun and moon and X, Y era packs inside also dated 2019 do better. And he had, he, she has every right to say that. And, you know, as I'm looking at it, I just decided to read what they were talking about. And I knew exactly what it was. These mini tins, it says here, each Pokemon TCG sun and moon series booster packs, darkness of blaze, vivid voltage, not sun and moon era at all. That is sword and shield, uh, contains 10 cards, one pack, uh, one basic energy. Each Pokemon TCG XY series booster packs contain 10 cards. They specifically say XY and sun and moon. Like, dude, you are scamming us. Like, Pokemon, you have to change that stuff. And it's not okay. And I, I really hope that this video gets sent to somebody from the Pokemon company. I hope they reach out. Uh, again, I'm right now, I'm a little bit driven off of emotion on this because that's so screwed up. Like, you can't sell product like that. And I'm pretty sure that they could potentially face a lawsuit if people are buying like say hundreds of these things and they're thinking they're going to get one thing. So here's where you're going to get slapped around in the court of law. If you try to like take this anywhere where Pokemon's going to kind of make you look real stupid. Like I know you're looking at the part where it says each Pokemon TCG sun and moon series booster pack and TCG XY series booster pack. I get that. And that's really goofy. I will agree with you on that. But if you look up a little further, in this mini tin, you'll find two Pokemon TCG booster packs. Does it say specifically in there Sun and Moon? Oh, it doesn't. Does it say XY? Oh, no, it doesn't. It certainly doesn't say that. The information on the bottom is when this actual product was released, and that's when they do that stuff. Yes, it is super lazy. I completely agree with you on that. It is dumb lazy. I don't know why they don't just change it up a little bit. They change a couple of other things. I guess it's easier for them to just put this on there, right? But nowhere up there does it say you're guaranteed any kind of packs or tins or something like that. And here's where I have a big problem with you, Seismic shock tv you are very well aware of this and you don't bring this up anywhere in the video you're completely aware of how this works and how these product are done like that and the multiple runs of these tins and the pokeball tins and all that stuff because you actually gain a viewership showing people the differences between that but yet for some reason it just doesn't dawn on you it wasn't really a problem before it wasn't really a big issue or anything like that until now you could actually take somebody's post after you got emasculated by your comment section because you didn't do any research and right here you can basically just be like oh pokemon you need to do better when it wasn't like an issue before and you yourself know how to identify what packs are in there don't you big dog and you're not going to educate anybody on that stuff don't worry i will roll that beautiful bean footage i mean look at look at that y'all look how much astral radiance that is that's insane you got even vivid voltage kind of hiding back there as well shining fates pikachu boxes uh more peko b union zashian greninja cleavor we got the lucario i mean it's insane y'all oh we got look at just to prove people wrong real quick somebody in my comment section was like dude how'd you miss out on the ultra ball and the other this is a level ball i think it is but yeah there you go j21 it's not d21 same with the love ball j21 they just seem like they would have the cosmic eclipse but they don't anyways we got the collector's chest and we got the bundle and you guys catch that what he just did when he was looking at the back of those balls right there he was looking for a code he was looking specifically for a a d21 code that would have cosmic eclipse packs in it it's almost like he can look at this stuff he knows that these are distributed multiple times so people can actually get the product you know this right here you know the ball that people want this is the actual product not just the packs the packs actually rotate for the players but you guys can have the little ball for your collections and stuff like that for your sealed collectors they actually try to appeal to everybody and you're not going to bring that up once in this video. You're not going to bring any of that stuff up. Oh, no, it's a Pokeball opossum, but not a mini tin. He was looking specifically at mini tins. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha covered, Big G, right here. Man, I, oh, watch this. Good with that. We got collection boxes down here. All the Shining Face ones. We got Bulletin, Cramoran, and the Eldegoss. We got V Unions. Which one are we missing? No, we got all three except for the more Pekka one, but yeah. Dragonite box and Hoopa V. So 
not bad at all. I think I'm just gonna stick to grabbing some single evolving skies. Like again, guys, and I think these are actually up on Pokemon Center right now. If you guys check the website, you can probably get these for like $3.99, uh, potentially $4.50, somewhere in that range. But yeah, these are selling not for $5.58. These are probably gonna be selling for $4.49 a pack at Walmart. So I don't know. We uh, I don't know how many we're gonna pick up, but we definitely are gonna pick up some evolving skies. Oh, 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 wait, wait, I lied. Look at that. Look at that. We got mini tins. I think I'm gonna pick up one of these mini tins here, which if y'all don't know, these are, where, where, where is it? Oh, it's not there, there it is. Wait, take, give it a minute, give it a minute. H21, they have Rebel Clash and Cosmic Eclipse. And I'm trying to make sure I can see everything that's going on back here. Okay, cool, just making sure. These are, where, where, where is it? Oh, it's not there, there it is. Wait, take, give it a minute, give it a minute. H21. They have Rebel Clash and Cosmic Eclipse. These are, where, where, where is it? Oh, it's not there, there it is. Wait, take, give it a minute, give it a minute. H21, they have Rebel Clash and Cosmic Eclipse. Whoa, you were looking at codes on mini tins. Whoa, what the hell is up with that? It's almost like you know something that the rest of the people don't know and they would love to know about it. Actually, your comment section probably does know about that stuff. It's just real goofy that you put together this giant rant, this whole thing, Whenever, like, you know what the deal is with that stuff, you know what it is, you know Pokemon just has a goofy label, but you know that you can tell what packs are what, and it just blows my mind that you're not even going to talk about that in the slides. You're just going to sit here and call Pokemon scammers when they're just re-releasing product. You know who actually cares, typically, about stuff like this, not having packs in it that are, like, valuable or something like that? Grown-ass adults that are trying to flip stuff or make shitty YouTube content. You know who doesn't care? Kids, they just want to open this and like, you know what, right here? Look, I got a Squirtle right here. I don't care what packs are, and I didn't care what packs were, and I just like Squirtle. He's fucking dope. He's a good one. Oh, but maybe there's not a code on this one because the, the actual tin that he was showing was a Kanto Power Mini tin. It was one of these ones right here. You can tell by the Pokeballs and stuff on the back here. What am I doing? So you see the you see the Pokeballs and stuff on the back right there? This is the Mini tin that he was looking at right here. But look... Actually, how you can tell what's in here, it works the same on basically all mini tins, just where they actually print the stuff right there. So you see right there where it says J18, that's going to be a 2018 to 2019 date where it's being released. 2019, I think, is when these were actually released, but it was probably made in 2018 is when the actual production for these started. They maybe didn't know when they were going to release. That is going to dictate what actually has packs in it, what's circling around at that point. And they all have stuff like that too. Watch. Love Ball, J21. There's going to be a set number of packs and set things in that one. Ultra Ball, H19, right here. That's going to have separate stuff in it as well. Literally all those codes, if you go type in YouTube, people opening those balls or something like that, they're usually going to have previews of what's in there so you can actually check them and stuff like that. There's usually a disclaimer as well where people are like, hey, here's the packs that could be in here. If you have a different number, it could be different for you and things because Pokemon makes these product for people to get them over time. They are reissuing the product, the pack cycle, as the actual meta and standard moves to. They're not just catering to the fucking collectors and investors. They want to make sure the players can still pull standard playable cards and still play with them too. And you know this stuff. Like, it's in your video, man. Like, I don't understand where this lack of anything and i mean of course he doesn't tell you to like go retweet old boy stuff he says repost his video he's gonna post that video that i just showed you onto his actual twitter and that needs to be relayed up to pokemon dude you're gonna look real stupid when pokemon shows you like hey here's the codes that you guys can look at it's our apology our mistake we save on this stuff so we can actually save the planet and not use more fucking plastic or more you know wrapping or anything like that we just use the same wrapping that we already printed off we're reusing stuff that's probably what we're doing i dude it just it blows my goddamn mind how people literally like they'll do one thing and they'll put on some kind of face like that they'll just show like one side of themselves and then the next second they're just going to be a completely different person he didn't show any of this stuff where's all this positive stuff right here where you're showing all these codes and how people can you know find some gems out there and it, it, it's goofy it's goofy, my guy. You know this stuff. You know about these things. You at least to some degree knew about those tins because you were looking at a mini tin right there. What, did it not fit your narrative? Did you not want to put it on there? It's it's goofball stuff. I don't know how many times I can show y'all. This dude will literally put on whatever face. He just got 20 hundred masks sitting over there and he'll fucking put on whichever one he wants to at that given point. It's, it's goofy. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else I can show you, man. Like, it's dumb. He knows about this stuff. Believe what you want. 
do what you want. But yeah, a Japanese collector had to come and like tell the English collector, the 22,000 sub page, how this stuff works because he's saying Pokemon is scamming. Hey man, they've sued for less. I don't want to have you getting hit with slander, my dude. That's just, that's not a good look for anybody. It's all I got. I appreciate y'all watching. Just fuck me, man. But what else do I need to say? He knows about all these little codes and all these different things like that. Maybe he didn't know it was on the tin, but he at least knew they existed. And then posting that actual like mini tin right there and not addressing any of the other ways you can identify stuff literally has me going that he wants people behind him pushing him up so he can get a little meeting with Pokemon where they can sit down and jerk each other off. I don't know. That's all I got. Appreciate it. Have a good day. See you later, virgins.